All right, guys, the two filters that we're going to be talking about tonight are the replacements for uh, the FL500S, which you can find that on the majority of anything above a four-cylinder vehicle with Ford. Um, the F-150s, uh, the Edges, the Explorers, almost every single vehicle outside of, you know, the four-cylinder stuff with Ford is going to be an FL500 and what I did was I took the liberty to go ahead and cut everything apart now separate everything and then write all the numbers down so you guys don't have to wait for it this is the look at the Supertech 20,000 mile filter which is an MP10060 that's this one here 20,000 mile rated filter a lot of guys find success with these they're only like a five dollar and fifty cent What's up, man? It's only like a five dollar and fifty cent, uh, twenty thousand mile rated filter, and then the other one that we're going to compare it to is an XG one zero five seven five. Now I looked these up under a two thousand seventeen Ford F one hundred and fifty with a three point five liter EcoBoost to make sure by year make and model that I was getting the right numbers from the manufacturers and then I went to the store and I crossed it in the book from Fram to make sure it was also crossing and then I went to the parts store and also made sure everything was crossing and then I also did it on the internet all the numbers came back the same MP10060 for the SuperTech filter that replaces the FL5 or it's an alternate to the FL500S and then the Fram XG10575 Ultra, both 20,000 mile rated filters. What's going on, Chris? So I want to show you what I got going on here, and then you can see for yourself. This is the filter that's in the SuperTech. It's just your basic, maybe a little bit higher grade, thicker cellulose filter. This pleat is 0.8 millimeters thick. This pleat here is a synthetic and cellulose compound mix. You can see on one side, it's got the cellulose type. And on the other side, it's got the synthetic type material, that nano type material that they would use. And basically what Fram did was they took the metal mesh out of the filter that they had on the previous model. This is the new updated mo model. And they went to a synthetic media backed with a cellulose mesh and they call it uh, their hybrid system or their, um, their blend. Uh, it's a dual layered synthetic media provides 99% dirt trapping efficiency. Silicone anti-drain back valve helps ensure safe engine startup and proven protection for 20,000 miles and it is 99% efficient at 20 microns. They went to this type of material so they could actually take the metal out of it and add more filtering capability and increase that filtering efficiency at the lower micron level. So at 15 microns it now filters at like 93% efficient and then at 10 microns, it filters at 74% efficient. So they've really upgraded this, and a lot of people don't understand what they did with this filter. Ballpark, they've added about 12 to 16 more pleats inside the filter itself to make it a more efficient, better filtering filter, and actually pulled the numbers up at lower micron to make it a better filter. And then everybody on the internet was complaining about it, saying, oh, the metal's not in there more anymore. They they ruined it. They changed it. They're, they destroyed their filter. It was such a great filter. No, guys, if you back off for a second and you pay attention to what's going on, they've increased the amount of filter inside it, and they increased the efficiency at 15 and 10 micron rating by doing so. They've given you a better filter. They lightened it up, and they created a better product than what they had before it's not that they ruined anything you just took the metal out and added more filter material in and went from a fully synthetic to a synthetic blend and the synthetic blend is actually what helps support that synthetic material on the outside that's what happened here so <clears throat> this is 0.8 millimeters thick this is 0.8 millimeters thick this filter pleat is 53.5 inches long 
This filter plate here is only 52 inches long. This is 2.125 inches wide. This right here is 3 inches wide. You get a surface area on this one here of 110.5 inches of surface area. The filtering capability. Here it's 160.5 inches of surface area of filtering capability. The can thickness here is a standard 0.3 millimeter. Some people measure it at 0.3, some people measure it at 0.4. 0.3 millimeters a pretty standard can thickness on most basic type filters that aren't going to be high performance filters same thing here 0.3 millimeter this has a metal screen interior or support this has a plastic one this has better oil inlets so it has better flow on startup this has a little bit more of a restriction it's got smaller a little bit smaller on top and then it's got even smaller on the inside so i understand that there's a purpose for this but when it comes to flow, I've got to give it to the Fram here. When it comes to media type, I've got to give it to the Fram here because this is 99% efficient at 30 microns. So this is doing, this is more efficient at a lower micron rating. 99% efficient at 30 microns, greater than 30 microns, right here on the bottom corner of the. This is a $5.50 filter. I picked this up for $8.75 or something ballpark tonight at the at Walmart when I was there. So $5.50, $8.75. 20 micron, 99% efficient. 30 micron, 99% efficient. An inch and a half longer filter media and almost a full inch wider with 50 more inches of surface area filtering capability here. It's got a metal insert in the center with a metal crimped sealed pleat on the side. This just has a plastic insert with nothing but glue holding the pleats together on the side. The Motocraft would be closer to the Supertech style just because the Motocraft filter is a more standard type filter. Now the Supertech is a great filter for $5.50. So... I don't understand, you know, the hang up here. This is a nice filter. There's a silicone drain back valve. This actually has a bigger gasket. This is a um, 6.9 millimeter O ring, where this O ring here is only 4.7 millimeters. There's another reason why I like the SuperTech in a certain area better than the Fram Ultra. When I look at the gasket material, it seems to be a little bit thicker, and I see more thread catch here i see a little bit better thread pitch here or like uh what would you call it rigidity stability seems to be a little bit thicker in that area it gives you five threads to catch where this here is seems like it's a little bit thinner and it only gives you like four threads not that that's a huge deal but they make this a smaller end cap so they don't have to put as much of this rubber material on here right so this here it's a lot thicker and it jets out inside here so they have to add this thread area that comes up through the center more so they can actually grab and suck the filter assembly up so there's some positives here and there's some negatives i like this filter end better just for the simple fact that it's more open there's less going on here it's better flow the holes are bigger it's it's simpler and it just seems like oil could flow through this really really easy where this it may have a little bit more of a restriction but not a ton so i would have to give it to the fram on that design overall the the rigidity of the drain back they seem about the same i think the super tech feels like it's a little bit more robust i think it adds a little bit more durability to the drain back um hmm it's difficult here when you pick because I like the way this fits inside the filter here and I like the way this fits inside the filter here but this fits inside the filter better it's more snug SuperTech added these little ridges to really make sure this stays in place so that fits really nice you could pick up the assembly with this here this here it, it comes right out of it there's no 
it's not really grabbing it so well. So I think this design and this right here would be phenomenal. Why they should use this type so it's really secure in there and it wouldn't float around, you know, under certain oil. I don't know. I'm looking at things that I would be nitpicking about because that's what I should be doing whenever I'm doing these filter reviews to talk about what I see positive. I like their drain back diaphragm better. I don't like the frame as much as I like theirs, but they're both silicone material. Really nice. I think overall, looking at the filter itself, the frame ultra is knock out of the park for, you know, $3 more. And you can even go on Amazon and put yourself on a subscription basis for this and knock the price down another $2 and 50 cents and have one automatically delivered to your house, like every three, four months and have them put you on a subscription the fram ultra will show up for two dollars and fifty cents cheaper around the clock and you may end up accumulating a couple if you don't change your their, your oil right away or whatever it may be you may have one earlier than when you're ready but at least you have it and you're on a subscription basis you know what your schedule is you know what you're doing every single day so why not go on there get yourself set up for it and have it show up every three or four months and save your yourself two dollars and fifty cents and get a twenty thousand mile rated filter that's pretty damn nice filter at the efficiency and micron rating that this filter is filtering at it's better than any filter in its class on the market for the price you cannot beat this filter there's no filter out there that beats this filter in its class for the price and what it does there's none i don't show me a filter out there that does the same thing the only filter that i know that beats this filter um is I think it's a Donaldson filter. It's the blue and white filters for the heavy-duty truck fleets. I think they filter at like 99% efficiency at 15 microns, but they're not available for like regular automotive use. It's actually better at 15 microns than any other filter is. But it's like a full, giant, massive filter of nothing but synthetic material and stuff like that. And I think it's made for just the truck fleet. I tried to look for cross crosses for cars, and they don't. there's, there's no cross. Any questions? The tools that I used here is a, this is a heart. I think it's a heart or is it Duraguard? It's a heart. I'm pretty sure it's the heart line. Or hyper tough. Hmm. It's either heart or hyper tough uh, from Walmart. I picked up a heart locking tape measure. I picked up a, a heart box cutter this was like seven bucks this was like eight bucks this was like six or seven bucks and then this i got on amazon about a year ago or more and this is a billet style it's like the most expensive durable oil filter opener that they have and you have you can change out these wheels these cutting wheels but this is the same one that i bought with the same wheel from the beginning this is about an 80 dollars 75 to 80 dollar tool right here and i use it all the time and i've never had to change the wheel one single time roller bearings cutter these are the tools i use to cut this open get the measurements and stuff and if you want to see exactly what i where i'm at here here's the fram here's the MP10060 from SuperTech. Well, that's the basic review. Any questions at all? Does anybody have any questions on anything that I did? Yeah, uh, so, you know, when I do these videos, I don't mean to come off as a jerk, but uh, if you can buy factory filters, that's great. Do it. Do whatever you got to do. Do whatever makes you feel happy. Just so you know, factory filter is like the minimum I would put on a vehicle, right? A factory filter works. That's why they say semi-synthetic. That's why they recommend their filter. That's a minimum spec to put on that vehicle. It's not saying that there's not better out there. So a factory filter is like a 30 micron rated filter at like 99% efficiency, something that 
to that standard, that ballpark, where an AMS oil filter, um, like a Royal Purple filter, a Fram Ultra or titanium filter, they filter at a higher efficiency at a lower micron rating, which means better protection for the motor. So FL500s are fine. I love the filter. I love the, um, the bypass design that they have in the top of the filter. I love that. It's a great filter. Don't get me wrong, but that's the minimum. Listen to what I'm saying. That's the minimum that I would put on a vehicle. Not to say there's not better, because there is. You can also buy bulk kits of these titanium and ultra filters as well. You just have to find the right company. And you can get them for all about the same price. It's all in what you want to put into your vehicle and how much you're concerned. And the, the amount of OCIs that you do. So I'm not here to debate anybody or tell them what, you know, what they're... What they're doing is wrong or none of that. I don't I don't care about all that to be honest with you I really don't care what an individual personally does or what they believe in to be honest with you This channel is about bringing information forward and showing people what's out there This is what this is. This is what my experience is I don't want to stop you guys from doing anything that you feel comfortable doing But if I can show you something better something that's more efficient that's going to keep your motor running cleaner and longer That's what I'm going to do. It's my job. It's not to debate it's not to play babysitter, it's not to yell and scream at people, it's just to bring stuff to the table to show you guys exactly what's going on. What? Hipsters and hippies, $80, ouch, well, I mean, you, you pay for what you get, right? I could buy some cheap one, I could get a Sawzall and hack my finger off and everything else, or I can sit there with a grinder all the time and just wizard wheel it off and just get shit all over the place, or I could buy the proper tool and do the job very very clean and precise that's why I bought it I bought it because I knew I was gonna abuse it and it's lasted for over a year without a single wheel change on it do I have any uh, experience with other heart products such as their drills or saws no I don't but I do know plenty of people that use their stuff at home and some lighter stuff on the job like my buddy my buddy's an HVAC guy so he's in people's homes all the time and he likes their drills he's got three of them on two of his trucks and one at home so he's got one in each truck and then he's got one at home and he absolutely loves them my filter has only been on the car for a little under 3,000 miles the car has 220,000 miles on it not the filter crazy I have to explain that I don't understand what your statement is. How long have they been on the shelves? I mean, seeing as they just changed the design of the filter and how many of these things sell because of how many F-150s with three fives and, and five liters and the edges and explorers and stuff around the road, probably not that long because they sell like hotcakes. This is one of the most popular filters out there. Fram is China. That's okay. Fram can be China. I'm not here to tell people what to buy and what not to buy. Again, you do what you do, boo. But that's not how it works here. We review products based on what's available. You think the tools that are sent to me that you guys get great deals on are not, uh... What the heck's going on with this camera? You don't think they're from China? You don't think most of the things that you own in your home and that you use every single day aren't from China? You don't think the big corporations that say assembled in the USA, but the products are outsourced from overseas aren't from China? My little bit of wake up call here, buddy. I'm not sure what you're what you're talking about. No mention of the FL500. I started out. I, I'm not sure. You're gonna have to explain more about this i'm seeing people not getting things tonight or they're wanting to have their own personal conversations about things i'm not sure where you guys want the conversation to go well i have canon pancakes well then you do you gotta have your canon and in and, and your uh well some of the same companies are the ones that order that own all these places anyway a lot of people get all twisted up in saying, you know, this this 
this oil is made by these people and this oil is made by these people and then you do the research and they're all owned by the same corporation. I mean, it's a big can. FL1A has more capacity than a 500 does. You have more reserve there, but does it mean that it does better than a 500? No. It filters at the same ratio. Can and, oil, can and oil filters are a good filter. They have good can strength, but it's standard type synthetic or a cellulose blend synthetic blend type media they're they're nothing to really shake a stick at they're just they're good filters but that's about it i can't say that that they're any kind of outstanding filter because they're really not it's just a good filter and that's it i think twix is good for 20 microns i i think I tell you what, buddy, you're about to be booted off the channel right now. There's a lot of moderators right here. You keep talking shit, and you're going to be gone. I don't put up with that shit here. Well, they're about to do some of the 910s as well here in the United States. Um... They recently, I got word from somebody that knows more higher up than I do. Let's just leave it at that. I don't want to say who. That they've already asked the manufacturers to come up with a new smaller filter that's a little bit smaller in length and a little bit smaller in width than the 910 filter, and they've already created it. It's already on the shelves. It's just a matter of time before people start seeing it at the dealerships because the demand for the 910s are so high that uh, they can't keep up with uh, manufacturing of the 910s for Ford so they had to create a second filter that's a little bit smaller a little bit easier and cheaper to make to replace the 910 not completely but as, a, as an alternative so that's out there as well now <clears throat> oh, I've cut so many filters open I mean people send me boxes of filters and have me Joseph Ryan said you might have cut open more filters than anyone on YouTube already. I mean, I've went through boxes that have dozens of filters just in one day, just to cut them open, just to see. Some stuff you don't even see videos on because I'm trying to figure out what they're made of. Just hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of different filters. It's unreal. No mention of the FL500. Just to go back to that, that's what this video is about, is the, the FL500. And I just answered a question about the filtering efficiency, 99% efficient at about 30 micron radius and what the factory filter is. And the technology built into the bypass valve on cold start is a little bit better technology than the other filters. There's nobody else out there that takes the, the bypass and moves it to the top of the filter. Ford, Ford does. It's right in the top of the filter. So it's an excellent design safety wise, but filtering efficiency wise, it's not. If Ford, was really that concerned with micron rating, they would have went to a better style filter, right? But they're not. Well, other aftermarket manufacturers have come up with stuff in an affordable rate to offer better efficiency at lower micron to really make sure that oil is a little cleaner than what the factory Ford one has. But the technology is not the same. The technology built into the filter of the Ford has a little bit different design of how oil flows. Now, is it critical to have a Ford filter on a Ford vehicle? No, it's not. A good quality filter is critical. But Ford does have better safety feature built into their, their oil filter.
Rigid, Rigid has one of the best electric impacts on the market. If you look at the heavy duty Rigid impact at some of the tool testing, the independent YouTubers and stuff have done, the guys that are doing stuff at their own facilities and stuff like that, Rigid is one of the top high torque electric impacts out there. I mean, they really put out a phenomenal product. So whatever TTI does, um, I don't know. I mean, I think it was uh, Rigid. Who was the other ones? Rigid and Ryobi have moved up quite a bit in the electronic uh, like tool chart overall. Their stuff is just phenomenal. Now, I want to do a review on... I bought the new Mac, yeah. the, their high torque version. I mean, if you're constantly topping off the oil all the time, yeah, you're right. Unfortunately, you're having to deal with those leaks, but you are correct. If you're adding a quart, a quart, a quart, a quart all the time, you know, every 1,000 miles, essentially you're always putting fresh oil in that motor. The most critical thing to change would be the filter at that point. I bought the new uh, Mac High Torque electric impact i want to show you guys this thing is it's it's bulky it's massive it's powerful and i bought it as a kit because the mac and the wall impacts are the batteries and everything are interchangeable the i can take the dewalt five amp hour battery and put it on my mac battery charger it charges it so my mac dealer will distribute uh dewalt and mac tools but it pushed for mac for sure and uh i just got the new their newer high torque electric impact it's pretty it's pretty beefy i heard that 5.4 liters and other mod motors it's important to use fla 20s so the oil can't flow back as easy compared to the other brands of filters uh, I would say that's not necessarily true. If it's a good quality filter, like one, like the Fram Ultras that I run on mine or the Pure Later Boss that I run on mine, there's more than sufficient. They're, they're actually more sufficient than the factory filters are. I just like a factory filter as a staple. It's a, it's a way for you to look at yourself and say, I obviously couldn't go wrong with this. The manufacturer intended for this to be on the vehicle. I'm gonna use what they intended. At that point, with that statement and that thinking, nobody can argue with you. But if you came and said, you know, this has to have this, or Ford, a Ford filter is better than that, nah, that's then you get into arguing points. But if you just said, look, I want to put what the manufacturer intended to be on the vehicle all the time, that's just what I'm going to run for my own peace of mind. Sure, sure, nothing wrong with that. Nobody can, no, nobody can argue with that. But to say because of the the drain back mm, no they all have well most of them do all the higher end stuff has drain back stuff that's pretty sufficient Black and Decker are probably the worst impacts. Ah, uh, yeah. And to think about it, who owns all these companies? I recently seen a chart the other day, and it was a it was a big square, and it said owned by Stanley, and it was like, holy moly, all these different tool companies across the screen. I was like, Stanley owns all these freaking people. That's it's unreal how many people they own. They are Fram inside. The the Hunt, some, a lot of the Honda filters are Fram inside. Some of the GM AC Delco filters are Fram inside. The STP filters are Fram inside. A, a lot of them are anyway. So the AC Delco ones I've pulled apart had the Fram end caps. There was a bunch of them I pulled apart in previous videos. Uh, STP ones, the Honda ones, 
there was like one or two more that had Fram filters inside that the manufacturer had their label on. Yeah, I've seen that they own like subsidiaries of companies as well that nobody even knows about. That they're not even they're not on lists. Like uh, the whole thing, oh, the whole thing with Fram Oil. When I called up Fram to get specs, like I wanted hard specs on some of their filters and stuff to just talk to the engineering team. Um, you know, I called the wrong number by accident, and it was Amelie, and they were like something about Emily oil or Emily manufacturing I was like wait a second I was trying to get a hold of Fram and he was like well you kind of did but you kind of didn't we make the oil for Fram so any of the jugs that you see that are jugged as Fram Emily we're a name brand company that's been around forever and we make pretty good quality oil to go in those Fram jugs so when you pick up the Fram jugs and you don't see where it's made on the back because it's not it's not stamped on there anywhere we're the company that makes that that oil for them. Yeah, a lot of the stores are running out of the Motocraft filter, so the dealers are kind of getting priority first. But then even the dealers... Yeah, Emily doesn't get enough love. Nobody even talks about. It. I didn't know. I didn't even really remember anything about Emily until I made that accidental, accidental, accidental phone call, and I ran into the company that makes their oil, and I was like, "Crap, that's pretty good oil." And he was like, "Yeah, we make good and high quality oil. Even our lower grade stuff is really clean, really good oil." And he said, "Nobody knows that we make it for uh, these companies." But then. I started looking into like, oh, man, I, I, I get into these like rabbit holes sometimes and I'm looking at these oil groups and I'm looking at what people are saying online and the reviews and stuff that they're doing. And then you'll find, you know, this specialty oil group or something like that that talks about, you know, this motor oil is made by this company. But then this company, if you look at the labeling and the stamping on the plastic container, it's also manufactured by this other company that is owned by this company but then if you look at the corporation who owns those it's conical phillips which owns and manufactures oil for all these people and i'm like wait a second so this person did a review that's supposed to be well uh, respected in the community saying that this is who makes the oil but in all reality that's not who makes the oil there's a company that actually owns them that has similar containers with the same stamping in the exact same spot with just different colors all made by the same damn people so do we really know who's actually manufacturing all this stuff because the rabbit hole leads you pretty far and then you start to realize fuck just put good oil in your vehicle at the end of the day change the damn oil and filter and, and, who knows what what does what and who owns what because when you start looking into it you find the same company that you thought made it is actually owned by somebody else that makes that oil along with oil for other six other companies that all use the same type of containers Can I recommend an OEM filter for a 2002 Ford Focus? The filter the owner's manual recommended is FL. Which Napa Gold filters are the same thing as the Wix filters? that are still owned by the same company as I think Pirolator and uh, they're all owned by like what Man and Hamill or something like that. There's, they just have different names on it. Like again, we, we keep going back to the whole preference when it comes down to preference, Napa 
and Wix are the same filter. The Wix XP and the Napa Platinum are the same filter. The Napa Gold and the regular Wix filter are the same filter. Um, there's, there's so much of this out there. And then if you look at a lot of the companies that run, uh, like a lot of Ford guys will say, uh, don't run a Fram filter in your Ford vehicle. But then when you look at the stamping and stuff at the Ford filter and then look at the Fram filters, uh, up until like five or six years ago, all the damn filters looked the same. They all had the same moldings, the same castings where they were pulled out of the mold and stuff like that, had the same indentations and stuff in it. They would look no different. One thing you'll hear a lot of people say in the Super Duty community is don't ever put a Fram filter in a Super Duty. I'm thinking to myself, okay, so I'll put the Motocraft filter in there. Go put the Motocraft filter in there. And I'm looking at the Motocraft filter and then I look at the Fram filter. I'm like, man, why do these damn things look identical? I don't, I, I don't get it. And then somebody will say, oh, don't use a, don't use a uh, a Fram filter. Go use an STP filter. And I'm thinking to myself, but STP filter is a Fram filter. The STP doesn't make their own filters. That is a Fram filter. Why would you tell somebody to go use an STP filter when it's the same damn filter? It's cold here. Uh, robot and we did have a pretty good weekend we went to the Kris Kringle market so we went and uh, got like rocklette sandwiches and stuff at the Kris Kringle market and, and uh, they walked around and did some craft shopping and stuff like that and uh, pierogies uh, you know they had like a pierogi stand and there was a, it was a good time we had a decent time this weekend Is there any difference between Pennzoil and Quaker State? I mean, I, I really can't even tell you anymore, man. I noticed now when I was at the store, I seen Quaker State had their full synthetic high mileage, 20,000 mile rated oil. And I was like, what the fuck is going on, man? It's like every time you turn around, there's a new oil company advertising for 20,000 miles now. And there's a new oil filter advertising for 20,000 miles now. It's like everybody's on board with this 20,000 mile stuff. Well, uh, Lyle said, uh, thank you for taking the time to do this. You're sharing your knowledge and opinions. is great to hear. You know, I try to keep it less about opinion and more about the product itself, like what we see. So that's why I went more to numbers now than just doing, like, visual reviews. That's why you see me writing stuff down now and doing measurements and calling up companies to check for micron rating and finding as much information as I can on the Internet. But then again, that stuff is vague sometimes, too. You don't even know how much stuff you can trust. Yeah, even at that though, um, the only oil I'd maybe go 20,000 on is the Oil Signature Series. I still wouldn't do that. Um, I've got some stories that I could tell about somebody that was a distributor at the dealership and he did that. And I was telling uh, some Amsoil guys about his story and they even agreed with me. Like we know the, the oil can go 20,000 miles but we definitely don't recommend people pushing the oil to 20,000 miles. It can go that far. Just like most other oils can go that far. But we still don't recommend going that far just because you can. We had a guy that was distributing it, and he was running it in his uh, 6.2 liter F250, and he ran it for, he, he changed the oil at 18,000 miles instead of 20,000 miles. And 
at the end of two years of doing this he pulled his motor apart and there was just varnish and sludge built up all over inside this thing just in like crevices and things like that the motor was starting to make noise and he went 18,000 miles on his oil just like they said you can do and I told him I said you know you do realize that even as a distributor you have to use some common sense yeah you can go 20,000 miles you can go 25,000 miles but that doesn't mean you should do that shit Yeah, I know about the new detergents. It's supposed to be 70% greater and everything else. It doesn't mean a fuck to me, to be honest with you. It doesn't mean that we should be running our stuff that long to to make things... Um, Trying to figure out. Yeah. Yep. So, I mean, that's it. That's the basic review on the filters. Uh, there ain't really anything else to talk about. Uh, I just wanted to show you guys the filters real quick, and we're 41 minutes in. So, chances are whoever is looking for a yeah, same same with me. Once I'm done with this oil testing and stuff like that. David, I'm not doing this 5,000 mile stuff like I am right now. I'm only doing it for the purposes of testing the the oil out and getting um, getting actual readings and stuff back from the testing company. Well, just an old soul. The reason for that is this this channel's already shadow banned, man. I mean, when people come here and do that kind of stuff, it just adds more to it. I'm already, I was getting, you know, between 15 and 30,000 views on my videos a day. And it was just increasing. But when the political talk came in and when people came here and started talking about things that we probably shouldn't be talking about because you know how this platform is, my channel tanked. And now my channel's been screwed because of it. Some of it I think I maybe brought up once or twice that I shouldn't have because I was frustrated. But I've since tried to kill it and, and, and make it not show up here because it got worse. And now the channel's pretty much slowed down and almost come to a, a, a halt. I'm lucky if I maybe get, you know, three or 4,000 views on one video in one day. That's a good day. That's an excellent day now where that was nothing before. And they've really messed with my channel a lot. Now that I have a lot of supporters and followers of a certain, you know, ideology here. They took a lot of the freedom that I had before. It's it's gone. It's not even here anymore. Yeah, Llama, that's gone though. That was it was happening way before that. That's not what did it. It was still happening before that. Yeah, I mean it's you're not Ryan. You're never gonna get that. Joseph, you're you're never gonna get people on board 100. percent There are people that sit here and they they. There are people that sit in this audience and they they don't like me. They uh, they uh, they just sit here and they watch. It's just somebody interesting to watch or somebody that they like to to figure out things to talk shit about and leave uh, dislikes on the video and stuff like that. And then when you ask people for uh, to uh, to make your time worth it, at least thumb up the video, at least support the channel and stuff like that, they don't they don't care. Most people they they, they could give a shit less. The, there's a good bunch of people here, here that actually do support the channel but the majority of people they just they're here to leech information that's it they're here to just find something to do at night and they they really honestly don't care and that's just the fact of the matter it's reality you you know how many times i've done things for people and um i can't see any of my dislikes at all so i don't know uh, I don't know what dislikes are there and what aren't, but you know, I, um, I do a lot of stuff for people. There's a lot of stuff you guys don't even see. I sit on the phone for hours diagnosing people's cars right in their driveways and I don't ask for a dime. I don't, I don't get anything. I don't ask people for anything. People are broke down on the road. 
I had a lady this morning message me and tell me how much I saved her trip with her family. A gentleman two days ago that followed my video to the T that he broke down leaving a parking lot while he was in the middle of his family's vacation and was able to get the vehicle back up and running with no check engine lights, no issues or anything at all. You know, there's stuff that I do like this for for people all the time and you guys don't even get to see half of the shit that goes on. All the stress that I have to deal with at work and people uh, leaving bad reviews or wanting to harass my company because they see me online. There's a lot of stuff that goes into this that people have no idea. They have no freaking clue what goes into this and the amount of stress that I have to deal with. You know, I have I have young kids on here too that require my time. There was a 16-year-old guy on here for like almost four months that was messaging me over and over and over again. Hey, what about the Raptor review? What about the Raptor review? What about the Raptor review? And he wouldn't stop. He literally would not stop. I would put... I'd say, hey, buddy, you got to wait, man. I'm, I'm busy with work. I'm busy with this. I'm busy with that. And I just can't go pull a vehicle off the lot to do a review for you. I'm sorry, man. Well, I'm 16, and it's my dream vehicle, and I really want... I, I get that, buddy, but you're going to have to wait, man. You're going to have to wait. And just every day, two or three times a day, what about the video? What about the... I had to block the kid, and I felt bad. You know, this, it's more than just us here. There are kids here, young technicians and stuff like that as well, that are looking for motivation and then there are guys that are retired that are in their 70s and 80s that are on this channel people that are in the hospital recovering from whatever that watch this channel just because they find some kind of inspiration and in what they see in me is, is it, it helps them think about what they were like when they were 35 years old or they were 30 years old they were 40 years old so i i work so hard to do all this and there's a lot of times where i look at it and i'm like for I don't know. Sometimes I just don't know. I don't know. I don't I can't answer your question to be honest with you. You know, trouble, you know, when, when I talk to him sometimes about the stress. Uh, you know, that I, that I deal with on here. What do you mean, Mike, when I saw the meat you hooked? I knew you were the real, real deal. What is that? Uh, hey, Jonathan, or I, I'm not trying to be bass boy. Please, please don't ask that question again about the oil filter thing don't don't ask that question again please out of respect for this channel or you're gonna have to go uh, i don't want to don't ever ask a question like that again on my channel please you're gonna get this platform shut down by asking stupid stuff like that pups or or jonathan if you could uh Get rid of that comment above, I can't do it. It won't let me do it while I'm live streaming. If you scroll back and you look at Bass Boy's comment, both of his comments, actually just get him out of here. Just boot that guy out of here. Kick him out of the feed, please. I don't I don't even want that guy here. He's going to get this channel shut down by saying stuff like that. Just remove him. See, this is the type of stuff I have to deal with, guys. This is what you don't see. All the held reviews, all the threats that happen, all the stupid stuff that happens right here on this channel that you guys don't get to see.
I'm going to get off here, guys. There's There's been a few trolls tonight and a few situations that I, I don't feel comfortable with.